Hey, what's up guys? Uh, this is going to be a little bit different. This time I'm going to be doing some actual 2007 scape. And that's because I honestly can't be playing EOC. I don't know what's up with my internet. For the past week and a half, two weeks, there's been some weird thing going on with my internet. Where at random times, it'll just randomly start cutting out. And I'll just start desync to the point where I had a, band a telly from Bandos from like the very start of the trip. Because I literally couldn't, like, I just couldn't deal with it. I, I thought I was gonna die. So yeah, that's why I haven't had the, uh, that's why the, what's called videos, the, um, King of the Gods videos are coming out so slow, because of just my internet. I don't know what's up with it, it's just going really bad, but yeah. Either way, this, this video is gonna be something that was inspired by Bodhi, a recent video that came out from, uh, it's gonna be the rules video, of what rules you've actually broken in RuneScape. Um, number one, like, I'm gonna put on screen what the rules are right now, like, and this is gonna be, I'm just gonna put the 2007 version of the rule things up. Because otherwise, it's the same, basically the same thing as the, the newer thing. Ooh, thank you. But yeah, um, as you can see, there's the rules. The first thing I'm going to start with is the first one, which is going to be offensive language, which that's pretty much a given that everyone at one point or another has gotten muted, most of, most likely. That would be including me. <laughs> I remember when I was younger, I had the, what, what what's it called? Uh, temper, sort of? So, you know, if someone did something but if i did something um then if someone did something to me i would immediately start spamming them out because you know i just so yeah that's given i've probably got muted like i don't even know how many times probably like five six times so yeah that's that's yeah that, that that's a bad thing but um the second thing item scamming i've never really actually tried to scam someone um if anything the closest thing i could possibly think of was there was this kid at my school and he used to be his huge PKer who used to have like one, like he was a really really good PKer that I knew from my school, and like he used to lose his money a lot from like um staking and stuff. But I like I remember I gave him five mil once, and within two weeks he made it into seven hundred mil, and then one point five bill, and then almost like two bill, and then he lost it against staking. But yeah, he and I well I'm getting back to the story. I remember. I tried to st a scam him once by doing, like, you know how there's, like, a ghost mouse that you can download where it, like, records your mouse and you can, uh, it kind of, I guess, would fall into the, uh, fourth rule, which is bug abuse, or not bug abuse, where is it? Macarang, oh, that's number seven, never mind. But, um, it, you could record your mouse. Well, what I found out that that also records your, um, your keyboard. So I set up a thing when he came over once, uh, I recorded, I put the record on without him knowing, like, down there. I was trying to... Um, cause he, he never kept the bank pin, because he's like, oh, well, there's no need for a bank pin, no one's ever gonna guess my password. So, I'm like, alright, well, let's try this. And I actually got it and everything, and it worked. And, basically, the main reason I was actually doing it was because he was becoming, like, really mean and annoying, to the point where, like, if he borrowed money from me, he, like, he wouldn't pay it back for, like, two months, and then at school, he would just completely, like ostracize me i guess like ignore me because he didn't want to get my money back stuff like that but so i was getting really mad at him i wanted to take the take his money and stuff so i finally decided to do that i did it i finally get on just so happens i guess he was anticipating something like that because <laughs> he um he put a bank pin on so i'm like stuck with this password and his login but no bank pin i'm like well i can't just keep inviting him over until i get all the stuff so i'm just like whatever and besides anyway like a week later he said he got um he lost all of it against staking so i'm like oh well whatever then i guess that's the closest i've come to uh item scanning password scanning that's i guess that also goes with the item scanning thing which was the ghost mouse um i don't think i've never that's the only thing i've ever done in relation to password scanning really um bug abuse i've never really been someone who's found bugs i mean it's like i feel like it's always those like people who find them first and then they out over like overuse it and jagex finds out and then i'm like like i remember when crucible came out people were making billions upon billions and just like i feel left out I'm like i never got a chance <laughs> but i guess they did get banned in the end so yeah i've never really had a experience with bug abuse Jagex staff impersonation. I don't think anyone's dumb enough to actually fall for it because all Jagex um, uh, staff have gold crowns and even player mods have silver crowns. So I don't think anyone's dumb enough to like try to impersonate a staff. Uh, number six, account sharing and trading. Now for this, um, that's, that's something I still probably do today. I mean, it's like, I don't think that's one of the bigger rules. It's just I'm like, I have a brother and 
Um, I mean, obviously at times if I need his like size mixer stuff, I'll go and like a bar it from him. So that's not exactly. I don't think Jagex even really cares about that anymore, really. So yeah, I mean, I I when I was little, I used to share accounts with my account with everyone, but that was I when I was uh, younger, I never really had any money. So it was like I didn't really care to share. Now that I do have like 400, actually more. I have like 580 mil, maybe 600 mil, um, on EOC. I don't really want to share my account with anyone because it's like more of a risk that I'm taking that I'm gonna get um, scammed or just hacked by someone. So I don't really do that. Besides, like, because besides that, like, um, between borrowing stuff from other people, that not I don't really share accounts. With, at least my account with anyone. Um, and for the trading part, I've never really traded accounts with anyone, so I've never really had experience. I've never, like, bought an account or anything like that, or sold one. For number seven, macroing, I did, um, I did bought some stuff, like, I botted, um, fletching for a good, good amount, but otherwise, I'm fletching and a tiny bit of cooking, but basically that's about it. I, most of the cooking actually got legitly. I mean, the botting was only like, I don't know, five, meh, let's go with a mil XV8, somewhere, not that much, but yeah, that was, that was quite a while ago, that was back when, um, there was, what was the old bot called, like, Happy Bot or something, some kind of weird name like that, some weird bot, uh, num and also the Ghost Mouse, Ghost Mouse, I sometimes u used to use that one back, like, two years ago, well, actually, why am I showing you this, this is 07, I don't have the skills, but on my EOC account, I have, uh, obviously, I have overloads and stuff, well, back then, like, I don't know, two years ago, um, you know, everyone has to do it by, like, um, because no one wants to spend, like, a ton of money just, uh, like, getting your herb lore up the fast way, so I did, uh, I did, though, but it was still annoying, because, like, I, I did it the extreme way, where you make extremes, which I made 3,000 of each extreme, and obviously that was boring, so I used to use Ghost Mouse or whatever to, like, um, what's it called, to make to like take out basically what I did is I put it as like a mouse key and then like every time I click the mouse key it would just take all the ingredients out and then yeah um multiple login that I still do that all the time <laughs> it's like if I ever need to like do a clue or something I might like ask a friend for stuff like that or like I was thinking about making a sec a second 07 account but I'm like I already put enough work into this I don't want to like I know I don't have as at near as much as like other people do but yeah um, so that's everyone multiple logs. It's not even I don't even think that's a like a rule that can, you could get like banned for anymore Encouraging others to break rules. I don't really know. I don't know. What would you, what would you count as? Telling someone to like go buy an account. I don't know. I've never really <laughs> had experience with that either It's not something like You don't really go tell people like oh you should go do do this. It's not a normal thing moving on to number nine uh, Oh number ten. Sorry misuse of customer support i don't i don't does anyone even use i don't even know what customer support is like would that be a forms i don't even know what that is so definitely not for that number 11 advertising a website i don't know maybe telling people about my youtube would that count as advertising i don't really i don't know i don't think that counts as one otherwise no i've never really advertised a website because that's like what are you gonna advertise i don't know facebook <laughs> but uh Number 12, real world trading. Now this is like the biggie that everyone like doesn't want to admit to because obviously it's one of the most bannable offenses um, next to like botting. And the thing about that is I, um, I did, I, okay, let's put it this way. When I was younger, I obviously, like I said, never had money. So I was wanted a large sum of money. So that um, person who I'm not going to say his name, but the person who was the good peak or whatever, I, I used to like give him like 20 bucks and he'd give me like 50 mil and stuff like that. But since I was a terrible, just I was just terrible at this game, I was lost it somehow. So like I remember I paid him like 20 bucks. He gave me like 55 mil. I bought an AGS. I took it to um I took it to Revenant Caves. And there, uh, me and my brother were killing the revenants, and I accidentally scalded on his unicorn because he like walked past and I clicked, and I scalded on his unicorn. So right then, I I didn't think of anything of it, and obviously I didn't have protect item on because I'm just like I didn't think anything would happen. And th this like two or three people rushed in, and they started smiting me, and I they killed me. But the funny part was I'm like, oh well, I'm fine. I have a ton of prayer left. And then I realized, oh wait, I didn't have protect item on. Well, there we go. There goes 55 mil. <laughs>
so <laughs> that was like one of the things and the same day same day i lost dragon claws when i went out i bought i got another like gave him another 20 bucks got another like 15 mil whatever bought banos dragon claws went into the wilderness and i tried using uh where is it this prey redemption which heals you up i didn't realize that it drains all your prayers so i lost claws like that so yeah, i've had some experience with the reward item trade i guess but um moving on for the last one asking for personal details i don't really like i don't think some people like some people i'll like when i'm doing something like um Virago or like Max or KK or something. I'll ask for their Skype or something. I guess that counts as real world trading. I don't or not real. What am I saying? Asking for personal personal details. Otherwise, I don't I don't really go around asking people. Hey, where do you live? Because then you're be you're gonna be labeled a pedophile. So I don't want to be labeled that because I'm definitely not. <laughs> Alright guys, um, if you guys have any thing, have any videos you guys want to put in the comments of you doing this thing, it'd be cool. You can put it in uh, this video's comment, you can add the video. Because I don't want to watch out all you, uh, you guys' like, um, what's called, the uh, rule, I don't even know what to call this, the rule breaking, not guy, I don't even know what to call it, just call it rule breaking of Jagex. So if you guys like this video, please leave a like, please leave a comment on all the rules you've broken, and uh, Maybe you guys leave a like for the 2007 content. I, I, if you guys want, I can bring some of that into my videos. Maybe do some some form of bossing on here. Uh, if not, whatever. Leave a like, leave a comment, and you, hope you guys have a nice day. Bye.